Welcome back, everyone. Earlier in the show, L.A. wowed us with her low-budget kitchen makeover. So good. So she's back now to flex her DIY muscle yeah. and build some shelving with a bit of a hook. You're very good at this. <laughs> you're creative, but you're also, you got the elbow grease. So these shelves look incredible. Thank you. Talk to me about how you put them all together. Well, I think when it comes to storage, we can never have enough of it. And never. certainly when it comes to the kitchen. Now, some people are stowers of all the storage. Some people are showers. I like like a yeah. little bit of both. Yes. But I think if you're going to have some storage that you show off, you definitely have to find that fine line between aesthetic and functionality. Yes. So it's not just about putting pretty things. It needs to work for you. Mm -hmm. So these shelves work, but they also work to make the space more beautiful. They sure do. You know yourself. Know if you can get away with this, because this is gorgeous. <laughs> so not only did you do the shelves, you did that beautiful dowel in there. Well, when you said it was a project with a hook, it's quite literally yeah. with a hook that I wanted to add some additional additional storage for hanging because I think it's just so functional and it's so like it can evolve as your yes. storage uh, solutions are required mm -hmm. um, but with this what I love most about it is it's customizable because I DIY'd it. And I think when it comes to shelving, that's such a nice option because yeah. it allows you to pick the size that you want, mm -hmm. to perfectly fit your space, pick the depth that you want. So whether you're doing a full depth for dinner plates or a picture rail just for some artwork. Yeah. And then also, um, it's the color, right? Yes. That you can pick the color to suit your space. So you're not limited to store bought. Yeah. In this case, I went to my home improvement store. Uh, you can pick up ready-made shelving or I just used pine boards. Literally, oh, nice. it was a $17 board that was eight feet long. I had them cut it in half for me to make two four-foot boards, and that was my shelf top. Nice. I bought ready-made brackets, but you uh -huh. can also just use pine boards and cut a really simplified bracket as well. Mm -hmm. And then using a hole saw, uh, which was, again, affordable to buy, I used a one-inch hole saw mm -hmm. to cut a hole through the brackets to allow me to loop through the copper pipe, which is not a copper pipe. What? Right? Dun, dun, dun. There what no, is it made there of? There is no budget for copper. Copper is so expensive these copper days. Copper is really expensive. People go it trolling is. for <laughs> copper <laughs> in, like, in dumpsters, right? Because yes, it's precious do. material. Well, I didn't need to dumpster dive. Okay. Instead, I, again, for my home improvement store, I store picked up a wood dowel. Yeah. And I painted it with a really amazing kit called... Uh, not copper. It's not copper. It's a metal effects copper patina kit. And you can do it not just on something like a wood dowel. This was yeah. like a little, like, small dose of the of the product just to add. It's all in the details, right? Yes. But I also did a piece like this. This is the before that I picked up from the dollar store. Nice. And this is the <gasps> after, right? So you're just that. giving some character. Age. Right. Beautiful. Like, I love, we talked about this earlier, like, having things not look too precious. Yeah. Like, I love things with a little bit of, like, ugh. Character, like, personality. Ugh, a little something, something. It's lived a little. Right. So It's any, matured, like we have, it's kind like, of. Like not wine, really. Like fine wine. Yes. Fine wine or a copper patina. <laughs> so any surface that's paintable, this product can be used. We've got kind of the concrete yeah. pot. Oh and I even did it on there. For herbs as well. Again, dollar store, three dollars. Uh, so it, the the possibilities are endless. Nice. So I want to show you how I used this product. Uh, it's three things in the kit, and mm -hmm. the first step is to prime. Then there is a copper paint that yep. you put over the primer, so the primer helps to build up the riches of the color. Yeah. And then there is a magical spray that gives you this patina finish mm -hmm. that I'm going to show you here, just how easy it is. So I've already got the primer on here. We're going to give the Modern Masters product a little shake here. And this is very easy to clean up, so if you spill it, no problem. But it builds up the color really nicely. So we're going to brush this on. Now, here is the trick. Yeah. While this is wet, you mm -hmm. want to make sure that this is still wet. When you do you the spray. You are going to take the spray. And this is an oxidizing spray that creates oh. the patina. So I'm going to give it a little shake. And I like to just randomly kind of hit the bottom edge mm -hmm. and a couple corners because I still like to see the copper color come through as well and not make it all the patina green. Totally. Now, magic will happen over about... 15 to 20 minutes, mm -hmm. and you will get this. Ah, that, that is, is so look. cool. And the fact that you you picked sort of something that already looked a little bit aged. Right. It looked so fresh on the other side, and now it looks like, well, I found it on a container ship from a pirate <laughs> it's been, in it's the been 18th in my century. Back. Yes, exactly. Like, it looks so good. Exactly. And this is just ready to go now. Like, yeah. I, you don't need to do anything. And again, I can't stress enough. I'm looking at the label in the bottom. This was originally white painted. Yes. And I got this for $3 at the dollar ah, store. So go to the so. dollar store and find right? your set. So 
the gorgeous really good goodies. with the dowels. This is such an easy way to add a patina. Um, any other information we need to know? Like, how long does that need to dry? Uh, it probably about an hour, but okay. you'll see when it doesn't look wet anymore, then, then you're good to go. Then it's so dry. It really depends <laughs> on how thick you put the paint on. But, yeah. And it also it comes in copper and rust and a blue patina as well. So depending on the look of your decor, you can customize color of shelves and the color of your metal effects patina. You so smart. Thank you, Ellie.